So it's about time for another episode of the best Nova Launcher setups. Today is episode nine, and I've got another three epic setups to show to you guys. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. First up, we have our pit setup, which is a one page setup with a really cool visual aesthetic about it. So it's a 12 by eight setup and starting with that watchtower wallpaper, this comes from the HD wallpapers website, which will be linked in the notes below. And I'm a big fan of this wallpaper. It's got that clean mountain backdrop with that deep red watchtower providing a great visual contrast, which looks amazing. Up the top, we have a day and date widget, which comes from the minimal UI for Zoopa widget pack. This one is widget 88, and it's been customized to tie in with that red and blue color palette from the backdrop, and that looks great. Coming down a bit in that time, weather and battery indicator widget comes from the Trident 2 for Zoopa pack, and it's also been slightly modified, and I really enjoy the look of this widget as a whole. It means having our status bar hidden like what you've done for this setup. All that information is here for us, which is great. We can also have that weather icon set up to trigger any weather application we like and that clock icon to trigger our alarm application of choice. And so I'm a big fan of this widget. And finally, at the bottom, we have two rows of application icons, which are all using icons from the Zarf icon pack. And I think these look great. If you're looking to add even more functionality, then you could even add some swipe up to access folder gestures, which would pretty much eliminate any need to go to the app drawer. Beyond that, the app drawer is pretty chaotic, but also pretty much fits every icon on just about the one page, which has been achieved by using a 10 by six grid setup. But aside from that, a really cool and aesthetically pleasing setup with a bunch of functionality as well. Following that is a chances setup, which will no doubt appeal to those of you who want to avoid ever having to really swipe into your app drawer to access your applications. Now there's heaps going on with this setup and yet it still looks really sleek and elegant. And I think one of the biggest contributors to that is this wallpaper, which can be found on the Zedge website, link below. And given it's got so much black pretty much everywhere, but that paint strip and the Google logo, it means that this is also perfect for those of us with AMOLED screens. Now coming below that Google logo and we get to all of our application icons. Firstly, these icons come from the viral icon pack, which I recommended in my last top Android apps video. So that's really cool to see. And we have a row of six application icons followed by six folder icons and then another six application icons. So obviously having each of those folders there gives you access to not only every application in your entire app drawer, if you like, but also to keep things organized and structured as well, which is great. And then below at the bottom, we have a time, date and day widget. This one comes from the Alloy Zupa widget pack, which rounds off the homepage nicely. Opening the app drawer by either a two fingered swipe down gesture is definitely trippy, or you can swipe up from the bottom widget. But other than that, there's a lot going on with this setup, but it's still a very impressive design. And finally today, we have this really colorful and vibrant one page setup, which has been sent in by Philip. So starting with that wallpaper, funnily enough, this is actually one that I used to use on my main desktop computer and it isn't taken from any application in particular. So as always, it will be linked directly down in the notes. Up the top, we have a modified Google search bar widget, which comes from the RL Zupa collection pack. And the main modification is that the rectangle has had the corners rounded, so it looks the way it currently does. If you wanna copy this, I've got the settings on screen now. In the middle, we have four rows containing three application icons, each of which are using the Roundex icon pack, which is what really gives this setup that vibrant style. Coming down below that, we have a day, date, and time widget that comes from the minimal UI widget pack. And this one has also been modified so that it stretches out a little further than the original, which I think looks nice. Again, if you're looking to replicate this, I've got the settings on screen now. Below that, we have a dock with one icon. This triggers the app drawer and the icon comes from the Candy Cons icon pack. So this setup's definitely not as busy looking when comparing it to the previous two setups, but there's just as much, if not even more customization involved, particularly with those two widgets, which I wholeheartedly respect. Aside from that, that's it for this episode. Don't forget to let me know which of the setups was your favorite down in the comment section below. Also, last week I released a how-to video explaining in depth the complete setup process when using Nova backup files and Zupa widgets. And so I'll place a link to that as well as every other asset you'd need to get going with all of the setups I've featured in today's episode in the notes below. If you liked the video, then a thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you're not yet already, why not hit subscribe? And while you're at it, hit that little bell icon so you stay notified each time that I release a new video. But that is it from me, guys. Thank you very much for watching as always. And I'll catch you later.